So I was just editing today's video, which is an Aldi shop that I filmed a week or so ago and I hadn't done an intro for it so I thought I would just pop on and say hi before I got into my shop. But yeah, it was a big Aldi shop, we spent around £100 and yeah, got loads of tasty food. So I will jump straight into the video. <music> So I'm going to go ahead and tell you all of the frozen and fridge items that I bought. I'm actually going to list everything that I bought down below and put all the prices for everything because somebody had asked me if I could do the prices for the next Aldi haul. So I thought I would add all of the prices just so you know how much I paid for everything because obviously they don't have the every item on the website so I will do that for you. So to start off with the fridge things I bought some plums which I never ever buy um, so I'm hoping that I can get the kids to eat these and I just fancied some. It's been a really long time since I had a plum. Um, I got some pate, well I think Peter put this in. I love this, this always reminds me of Christmas. I don't know why but I, I love pate but I'll only buy it around Christmas time so yeah that makes me feel like it's getting closer to Christmas because we're going to have pate and cheeses in the fridge all the time. Um, I got two of these boxes of smoothies. These are really good. The kids like these. These are obviously like the innocent smoothies but cheaper. Like I say, prices down below. I got two punnets of strawberries. So one, two and then I got a punnet of raspberries which look a little bit squishy already. I think they've been shaken about a bit so... I'm hoping the kids will eat them because they tend to complain when they're a bit squishy. Um, we got some Nord Pack, Nord Pack even. Butter, which is my favourite from Aldi. Obviously, it's just like Law Pack. Lure Pack even. <laughs> Not Law Pack. Um, we got some British Mature Cheddar Cheese. Some bacon. Just some unsmoked bat bacon. I don't, I'm not a fan of smoked bacon, so always get unsmoked. I got these cocktail sausages which I thought would be quite good for the lunch boxes. A couple of avocados which are just for me because nobody else likes them. And then this, this nearly didn't come home with me but Peter sort of talked me into it because I was showing him and he was like just get it and I probably would have regretted it if I hadn't done so. This salted caramel brownie. I mean look at, look at all the red. Obviously gonna be a seriously indulgent treat but I just thought that is just everything I love so I'm glad to I got that I hope it's as nice as it looks I got a skimmed milk which will be mainly for me I don't like full fat milk and then a blue full fat milk for the kids two of these dip -its. so these are good for the pat lunches they prefer the ones with the like the Ritz crackers than they do the breadsticks. So I've got two packs of them. Two lots of chicken because one night we're going to have a curry and then another night I'm going to have my beloved fajitas <laughs> because it actually, surprisingly, has been a little while since I've had fajitas. Even though I talk about them all the time, I haven't actually had them for a while. I've got some of these Mediterranean vegetables which will just go on the side of a the meal. They might even go in the fajitas actually. I've got a big pack of ham because we get through a lot of ham with me doing three packed lunches every day and the kids all like ham. I got one of these yogurts because I've got a load of frozen fruit still in the freezer so I like to have one of these. This is one's a really nice, this broccoli strawberry fat free yogurt so I will have some of this with some oats probably few chia seeds and I could do my little overnight oats if I wanted to as well with this. I got some beef mince because Peter wants to have me to make some meatballs one evening so I prefer to buy mince instead of buying the actual meatballs and make them myself. And then I got some of these split pot crunch yogurts so obviously exactly the same as Muller crunch corners so I got some of them. Kids always love them. Oh it's gone really dark outside I'm going to put the light on in a minute. I got some spinach I struggle to use the bag a lot of the time, like the whole of the bag, but I'm going to try and put this with as many meals as I can and just blend it up into everything. Um, I got some apples, so a six pack of these Royal Gala ones. Some Easy Peeler oranges, again good for the kids' lunch boxes, and Dylan had been asking me for some oranges, so 
nice big bag of them i find this time of the year is when they taste the nicest when they're sort of coming into their their best because i hate it when you get a really bitter tasting orange so i'm hoping these are sweet ones and um, peter put this in i don't even know what it is chicken sizzlers so it looks a bit spicy cajun chicken sizzler so i don't know what he plans to have that with but there we go and then the last bit for the fridge stuff some sausage rolls Moving on to the frozen bits. There is not a lot of frozen stuff actually. Got two bags of chicken dippers there. So when I do fajitas, a lot of the time the kids will have these with some salad on a wrap instead because they don't always like the fajita chicken that I make because it's a bit spicy. Um, so I tend to do this with a load of salad instead for them. Got some potato waffles. There's some of these steak cut chips as well. And then we put in some pizzas. So we've got a pepperoni pizza there. We've got two pepperoni pizzas and two cheese and tomato pizzas. I can't remember the exact price of these, but they were super cheap. So moving on to all the cupboard items. We've got some salad cream, some mayonnaise, some custard creams, which according to Toby, these are the best custard creams ever. So Aldi officially do the best custard creams, says my nine-year-old. So there we go, some custard creams for him. He'll be very pleased. Some pop-outs. These are really nice. They're just like the other ones sound like this i can't think what they're called but these are really nice what are they called the crisps that are just that these sort of are an imitation of put it in the comments below because i can't remember what they're called anyway these are really nice peter gets all these sorts of things he loves crisps <laughs> um this party mix here i got a big pack of 30 snack right crisps which to me are no different than walkers so they've got all sorts of flavors in there some for safari snacks lunch good lunchbox items along with these granola bars so i got some maple syrup ones and i got some oats and honey these again are toby's favorite granola bars he prefers these ones to uh, nature valley and all of the other ones that i've tried him with so good old aldi and they're cheaper i have got two packs of wraps some will be for pet lunches and some will be for the fajitas some poppadoms for the curry some crumpets some bread Baps. Oh, the sun's come out now. I <laughs> just can't. This is just one extreme to the other today. Some bread baps, um, which will be for some burgers that I have in the freezer. And then I can't believe how sunny it's going. All of a sudden, it's actually too bright. Um, two packs of naans. Again, for the curry. Can't have a curry without naan breads. Some bananas. These, which are good for the pet lunches as well. So just a three carton of orange juice, one each for the boys one day. I got some little potatoes, which I plan to put on the side of a meal just to make them really nice with like melted butter and some garlic and salt. Oh, really nice. Um, I got a loaf of bread. We tend to have Roberts, thick soft white. I don't know why. It's just the one that I always seem to pick up. Some of these again, good for the kids for snacking, these crispy fruit slices. I got a couple of packets of rice, so the classic long grain rice and some basmati rice. I got an orange cordial. I would have got a black currant one, but I couldn't see any, so I just got the orange one. Oh, I also got some waffles. Dylan is going to be really excited when he sees these because he loves them and I never buy them. So I'm sure he'll have a couple of them when he gets in from school. So just these toasting waffles. And then for cereals, we've got some multigrain shapes, which are brilliant because they're exactly the same as the multigrain shapes that you can get by Kellogg's. That are, they're just exactly the same. So they're a big hit. And as always, the multigrain hoops. So I got a couple of boxes of them. I got a bigger carton of orange juice as well, just for the mornings. Please excuse my wall here. I have no tiles on still in the kitchen. Um, I'm struggling to decide, so the background is not always the most aesthetically pleasing so i do apologize um some of these limited edition strawberry shreddies oh strawberries and cream shreddies i don't know what the kids are going to think of these it could go one way or the other they could think they're just gross or the best thing ever but just sort of put them in as a little change so that is all my cupboard items so I'll just show you the last bits of cleaning stuff. I've had to put it all on different zones in the kitchen. <laughs> so over here, just some cleaning items. So I've got two bottles of bleach. I've got some new sponges because mine are really pathetic little tiny ones that just don't really, they just don't do it for me. So I've got a bag of these. I got this, which I hadn't seen before or tried, this cleaning brand. So 
WYX, I don't know how you say it, Wix, Wix, um, I don't know. Um, so this is just the multi-purpose one. They had a kitchen one as well, but I like trying a new uh, cleaning product. And this one kills coronavirus, so they're putting that on cleaning bottles now, are they? Oh well. Um, and I got some of this, which I am so obsessed with this product. I think it is amazing, really good. So pet stain and odor remover. Yeah, definitely recommend Dr. Beckman. It seems to just get every kind of stain out when nothing else works. Some cotton buds. Just some ibuprofen and some freezer bags. A bottle of washing up liquid. This was really cheap actually, it was on offer. So again, can't remember the price, but I'm gonna have a look at the receipt and write it all down below. A big kitchen roll that I've already used actually for a little spill. Some three in one Elmat washing tablets. So there's 20 in there. And then I got these for the dishwasher. So some Magnum premium all-in-one dishwasher tablets. It's 37 in there. And then this luxury soft toilet tissue. Look at, I'm just apologise for that background. Look at the wires. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, some toilet roll. So uh, just the one pack. I'm not going crazy and bulk buying in toilet roll. And I just want to show these because these were some little Christmas presents that I picked up. Now these two were actually from Morrison's because we nipped in there. Um, but this one was from Aldi. Hang on, I can't get it out from underneath. So this one was from Aldi and they had loads of different um, books. So it's all different jigsaws. And this is obviously space themed, which Toby is showing quite an interest in at the minute. So I thought it'd be quite a good idea to get him this. So you got loads of different jigsaws in here. They had other ones. They had like a farmyard one. They had a vehicles one, dinosaur. And then these are slightly smaller puzzle pieces. It's hard to... So that's the sort of size of the puzzle pieces. And then they had, when it had like ones for um vehicles and things they were a bit bigger pieces so probably better for a younger age but yeah it's got a little bit of information about space on each page so i think i'm going to put that up for christmas and that was 3.99 which i thought was all right so you get four 96 pieces jigsaw so i thought 3.99 for four jigsaws and then a book as well i thought that was quite good and then in Morrison's, I picked up these. So I got a Ripley's Believe It or Not, because Toby just, for him, this is the kind of thing that he would find really interesting. He likes to know little facts and he'll always Google things and ask Alexa things. So I got the Ripley's Believe It or Not for £10 and then I got the Guinness World Records for £7. So even if he doesn't find them that interesting, I'm going to have a good read through them after Christmas. So I got them as well. So that is everything in the Aldi shop that we did. It was nice to go Aldi actually because we don't have one near us at the minute. They've knocked it down. So yeah, we went to a different one, a big one, and it was just nice to go because I just find it so much better value for money. But yeah, really hope you enjoyed the shop. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And I will see you again for my next one. Bye everyone.